¿Qué pasó, wey? It's your homeboy, Quetzalcoatl. Welcome back to the Fuck Your Life Boxing Show. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the recent fight that just took place over the weekend between Abner Morris and Leo Santa Cruz. Wow. That was a crazy fight. Damn. Mad props to Johnny Gonzalez. First and foremost, mad props to Johnny Gonzalez. I, I did not see that result coming. Shocking first round knockout of Abner Mares. Both fighters were just getting warmed up. You know, they were trying to see what kind of approach they're going to take against each other. I had seen that fight twice. I saw it live and then I saw the replay of it. If you watch that fight again, prior to the first knockdown, you see that Johnny Gonzalez landed a, a solid shot on Abner Mars, a right hand. And that, that shot kind of changed Abner Mars' facial expression. And I, I think that was the first initial shot that hurt Abner Mares. If you watch the Ponce de Leon fight, you see that Prior to uh, Ponce de Leon getting knocked out by Mares, late in that fight, de Leon was landing some good shots on Mares. And it appeared that it, those shots had some effect on Mares. I, I think he was kind of hurt, but again, he, he masked it well, just like he, just like he did with that right hand. He was able to buy himself some time as well. He would move around. He would hold Ponce de Leon. And uh, in this instance... You saw that after he got hit with that right hand, he moved a little bit, but then, you know, he, he started throwing a flurry. And he started letting his hands go. You saw Johnny Gonzalez stayed calm. He didn't try to exchange with him. He waited and picked his spot. Uh, it appeared that Abner Mars was going to throw a left hook. But right before he, he, he could shoot that hook, Johnny Gonzalez threw his own left hook. And he caught Abner Mars right on the fucking button. Perfect shot, great timing. Abner Morris went down, and he was hurt bad. Now, I don't know if you talk to the TV. I, I don't talk to the TV. But when he went down, that shit got me off my seat, man. And I was talking to that motherfucking TV like Abner Morris could really hear me and shit. And I was telling him what I tell motherfuckers when I play Fight Night Champion on PlayStation or Xbox and shit, when I knock them down and, and be clowning on them. I was telling Abner Morris, I was like, Morris, stay with me, soldier. Breathe, soldier. Don't die on me, soldier. He got up. I don't think that motherfucker heard me, though. So I was trying to speak telepathically to his ass and shit. I was trying to get my Professor X on. And, you know, I was concentrating. I was like, hold him. Hold him, Abner. Hold him till the end of the round. It's only a couple seconds left. You know, get your head back together. Get him in the second round. No! What the fuck you doing? Don't exchange with him! No! No! And the motherfucker went down again. So I see that that shit wasn't working either, man. When he went down the second time, I was like, fuck, let me just try to motivate this motherfucker. So I was like, I had a tiger! Abner, I had a tiger! Shit, before I can get that third eye of the tiger out, referee stopped the fight. There wasn't no eye of tiger. Shit, that tiger was dead. That tiger committed suicide. That that tiger's parents came home and found that motherfucker hanging from the ceiling. And the suicide note said, Johnny got me. Damn. <laughs> this is a huge setback for Abner Morris's career. As far as the way things were looking for him. Leo Santa Cruz, who was on the undercard and had a, a big victory versus Victor Terrazas, there was already talks about setting up a fight between Santa Cruz and Abner Mares, and that would have been a big fight. There has also been talks for a while now between the fight uh, between uh, Abner Mares and Nonito Donaire, as well as Abner Mares and Guillermo Rican Down. Now, those fights... There's been problems making those fights because, of course, of the beef between Golden Boy and Top Rank. You know, all three of those fights right now, 
uh, they, they don't seem like a good possibility right now for Abner Morris because, you know, this was a, a crushing defeat. This was an embarrassing loss. The Leo Santa Cruz fight could possibly still be made, but it's not going to have the same hype as it did before this dude got knocked the fuck out. You know? Prior to that, you know, that looked like a 50-50 fight. And Abner Morris could still put in a, a, a good performance against Leo Santa Cruz, but, you know, for the most part, a lot of people, are, if, if that fight does happen right now, immediately, a lot of people are going to be looking at as more of a stepping stone for Santa Cruz, you know? I think that Abner Morris really has to evaluate his career and then what kind of approach he wants to take from here. Uh, this... Like I said, it, it's a it's a huge setback. You know, knocked out in the first round. Crushing defeat. His family was there looking at that shit. And other fighters have have, have come back from these type of fights. You know, I, I me myself, I, I don't think that he should have an immediate rematch versus Johnny Gonzalez, because that's gonna be a, a, a do or die situation. You know, I, I I think that he should really think about what he wants to do. There's been other fighters who've taken, who have taken immediate rematches, and it, it ended up, you know, causing further setbacks for their career. As you saw with Sugar Shane Mosley, when he had those two back-to-back -back losses Vernon, versus Vernon Forrest, as well as the back-to-back -back losses versus Winky Wright. You know, both both of those losses uh, really hurt his career. As far as the way Sugar Shane was looked at before those losses. Uh, Prior to the Vernon Forrest loss, you know, a lot of people were seeing Sugar Shane Mosley as possibly the top pound-for-pound -pound fighter, or, or at least in the top three, you know, after he beat Oscar De La Hoya. His career was at an all-time high at that point. When he lost to Vernon Forrest and then lost to him again back-to-back, -back, that really hurt his career. Then when he lost to Winky Wright back-to-back, -back, again, I mean, it took him a long time to get back at that elite level. And I don't think that he he really ever got back to that point to where, you know, people were seeing him as, as a top pound-for-pound pound fighter, at least not the way, you know, it was before those losses. Uh, as well as Vernon Forrest, who had those two back-to-back -back losses versus Ricardo Mayorga. And Vernon Forrest was coming off of defeating Sugar Shane Mosley. So, you know, his career was, was you know, was at an all-time high as well. You know, Vernon Forrest was able to come back and he won a world championship in another weight division, but had he not lost, you know, back to back like that, his career probably would have been a lot better than it than, than it was, you know, because uh, Vernon Forrest was was an avoided fighter, and I think those back to back losses gave a lot of people excuses to avoid him. Now, of course, you know, history has also shown us that fighters can come back and 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 win an immediate rematch, like when Lennox Lewis got knocked the fuck out and he came back and knocked out Seam Rockman, so it is possible. But me myself. I, I think Abner Morris should probably take a, a, a tuna fight uh, just to psychologically get back. You know, this first round knockout, I think this was a huge uh, psychological setback as well. I know that shit got to be on his motherfucking mind. So, you know, he was saying in the, in the, in the interview that, they, you know, that shit ain't affecting him right now, but I, I don't believe that shit. I think that shit is all in his motherfucking head. Shit, he probably getting drunk thinking about that shit. I know I was. That's why I didn't do the video on Saturday. Shit, I was drunk before the fight. After he got knocked the fuck out, shit, I got real drunk. Shit, I was calling radio stations, doing dedications for this motherfucker. I was singing along and shit to the music. How long would him on me? I wish it would have been another. I was pouring out beer for that motherfucker and shit. To the homies we lost. It's, it's just like, damn. But like I said... Mad props to Johnny Gonzalez. Came in, handled his business. I don't think anybody seriously had Johnny Gonzalez win in this fight. He proved everybody wrong. You know, I, I didn't make a prediction for this fight, but I didn't think Johnny Gonzalez was going to win this fight. Mad props to him. There's no excuses. You can't say it was a lucky shot. There's, there was no lucky shot. That was just perfect timing. Great shot. Embarrassing fucking loss for Abner Mares. Like I said, he really needs to think about what he's going to do. If he comes back and has an immediate rematch and he loses, depending how he loses, man, it could really, really hurt his career. I mean, if, if he shows a, you know, if he has a good performance and he loses by a decision, it, it'll still be bad, but it won't be as bad as if he gets knocked the fuck out again. If he gets knocked the fuck out again in an immediate rematch, 
Shit, ese cabrón. Shit, he'll probably be over there. Va a estar cortando caña el cabrón allá en el cerro con Juan Ma López. Shit, he, and I said, shit, he'd probably be out in the field cutting sugar cane with Juan Ma López and shit. So they could go sell it at the town square for a dollar a bag and shit. So Abner Morris, really think about what you want to do, bro. Johnny Gonzalez, huge victory. He just put himself in the picture at 126 pounds. Can't wait to see his next fight. We'll see what happens from here. You know, let me let me know your thoughts. What do you think about Abner Morris's loss? Where do you think his career goes from here? Do you believe that he should take an immediate rematch? Let me know what's up in the comment section. And as always, if you like this shit, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. This is your homeboy, Getsakual, signing the fuck on out.